in this particular session we will continue with our next scenario from the diva beta application so let's get started so let's go with our next scenario that was input validation issue part 2 the main objective was try accessing any sensitive information apart from the web url it means we don't have to enter the web urls here which we don't have to access any website here the main objective was we have to access any sensitive information or sensitive file within the system for that part for all these urls what you can do all the browsers and all this web view elements also supports your file method like we generally use http method for your website http http for like your google.com facebook.com instagram.com we generally use this http method same way you can also call your file method to access your sensitive files like local drive c and here you can see we got the main files and folders for my local drive c same way you can access files and folders in local drive d e and other drives as well same way you can access files in your android device as well because if i simply enter a domain like https colon slash slash google.com it will simply redirect me on the browser and you can see we got the simple web view browser here which will display the web page if i simply call the particular file here let's say file colon slash 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 and now here i will start with the sd card if you go with the file structure here for the android device go with adb shell and go with ls hyphen al here you can see we got the sd card inside our slash storage folder so just we need to follow this same path like slash storage slash self and then slash primary to access our main file storage here so let's give it a check go with slash storage then go with slash self slash primary and then hit enter what we got is nothing but if you try to access a specific file let's say if you simply go with dot u info dot txt the file we have created in our previous sessions then you can access the content for this particular file this was the local sd card but if we need to access some sensitive information here and for the sensitive information just go with the file that we have created in our application folder and the application folder was slash data then slash data then jakar asim diva and inside this we got a file with the name u info that was a temporary file we created here so again i'll try to access this particular file from this web view element here first of all let's copy this path so we can enter it here i'll simply copy and paste it here if it works done then enter one more slash and copy the path for this particular file copy and paste the path so just go with this one and we forgot to enter the file method that we always enter here just go with file colon slash slash and now we will be able to access the content of this sensitive application file this was your input validation issue part 2 if you are able to access any file from this kind of web view element that we should not be available to the victim to the user that will be again leak some sensitive information have a good day and stay connected